Dad, what are you reloading? Hey, Nick, I'm loading uh, 303 British. Can't figure out what block to use. That one's too small. That one's a little too big, got too much play. And that won't fit. What do I do? The problem with universal loading blocks is there's a lot of play in them leading to powder spells. And here you can see the most common brand, there's still a lot of play. If you go to charge your powder, trying to get to sit in there, you know, you get a lot of play and it can lead to powder spillage. Yeah, today I'm going to show you guys a new review on the EP Integrations solid aluminum lock, what they call the lockdown block. The block is made from uh, T661 solid aluminum. It comes with two neural knobs, which are very high quality knobs, a top plate which adjusts you from the calibers anywhere from 223 or slightly smaller all the way up to the shy tack and it is a beveled so it's not sharp edges. Your center block which is your lockdown block by the elongated slots here and the bottom block is the solid aluminum base. It also comes with four padded feet if you'd like it to be able to have a little more gripping surface on the countertop. EP's solid aluminum lockdown block can go anywhere from the two, standard 223 case up to the 375 shy tech whatever that is. And as you can see, it's got that sliding middle layer. This is how you do your adjustments. So just put some 223 cases in here, slide that Block down until it makes contact. Lock your knobs. It's solid. No play whatsoever. And to show you how easy to adjust them, you just give them a loose, pull those out. Here we have our 303 cases. Slide it down, lock them down, and there again. Very little play. The harder you push down there, give them a turn, lock down. There again, look at that. They're locked in, even 180 degrees upside down, they will not fall out. That's probably because these are a rimmed case. On your standard uh, ejection one, they, they may slip out. But how often are you going to turn it upside down? But there again, you're looking at lack of play. And what's really nice about it, like I said, the largest case we happen to have here in the Millsurp Duo loading room is 4570, which is a fairly big case. Let's put them in at random, even though you'd probably be filling the block up doing 50 rounds at a time. Slide it down. Lock it in place, and no play. Now I'm going to show you, with these 303 cases, we'll lock the block in place. There you go. Very little play. You can see they move very little. And we'll charge them. Nice, easy control. Again, you take a chance, it ain't gonna go anywhere if you hit it. You can run it through the entire batch of 50. Thanks coming. These are our final wrap-ups of the EP uh, Lockdown Block. Uh, Todd and Scott over at EP have put a lot of work into this. It's really heavy-duty construction and really nice block. They have even have a patent pending on this. Uh, one thing I did fail to mention in our video is that if you care to use multiple blocks, 
uh, when it's in the lockdown feature, you have a tongue sticking out on one side and a uh, groove in the other. So you can snap several of them together like you do tongue and groove flooring. Uh, we'll have some close-up pictures of this in our ending credits. What do you think, Nick? Uh, I also like very well machined. Uh, no burrs or anything on the beveled portions. They nicely form together. Everything's very well put together. Very sturdy block. Mm -hmm. Um, especially for the price of what you're paying for it. What are they going for right now? Standard price as of time of filming is 124. I think on sale 109. Um, uh, for yeah, for 109 bucks on sale as a filming, you can't beat it. Yeah. I look at it. Yeah. But that's a little more than your standard plastic blocks. But trust me, you'll have this a lifetime, and your grandkids will be using it. Absolutely. These. And it depends on where you're at. Especially people, if you live up north, you your blocks can get cold. They can crack if you drop them. Yep. There's a lot of those yep. issues. Yep. So, but. Uh, I know we've reviewed his uh, the EP 2.0 annealer in the past. Do they offer a combination with this and the annealer? As a filming, they do actually have a combo. I think you're looking normal price around 392. Um, on sale currently for 362, so it looks like it'd be about a 30 dollars savings. Excellent. So excellent. excellent. Yeah. Well, there again, uh, this uh, we tried both the EP's products. Love their stuff. They're good people. Uh, thanks for coming by uh, and stopping to see what we've got. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you again in the future. Yeah, and as a, I hope to review more of their products in the future, see how mm -hmm. those could be. And I know he's working with a couple of guys for some stuff for the annealer as well, and potentially upgrade these as well. Great. Um, also, go uh, help our first responders out, military, police, medical. Just They help defend us every day. So thanks again. Again. Have a good one. Peace and take care.